Hello everybody, this is Jesse from Napco Tech Support, and today I'm going to go over how to program your Napco Starlink Fire Radio when using supervised inputs for reporting to Central Station. First, we're going to log on to www.napconoc, the number 2.com, and pull up our radio account. We're going to start by clicking Edit, switching over to Dealer Entered Programming. We'll program our primary and backup Central Station phone number and account number. Set our UL polling fail timeout to whatever plan we selected. Today we're just going to pick five minutes. We're going to set our CS verification time to six hours if you're following the UL 10th edition, 24 hours if you're following the UL 9th edition. Next we're going to click on the inputs and outputs tab. We're going to set input number two for supervised fire alarm slash trouble. And as you can see, a short will send a fire alarm and open will send the trouble. Additionally, we can set up input number three for the same if there's other signals required, such as supervisory for a sprinkler gate valve. Last, we're going to click on the advanced tab and we're going to change our telephone number for tamper line cut and parallel inputs to our same central station phone number and account number. Last, we're going to click Save to send the radio configuration down to the radio. Make sure you have a technician on site with jumper number one removed to accept the download. Just to review, we went over how to program your Napco Starlink Fire Radio for supervised input reporting to Central Station. And again, for more information, you can always visit us at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching.